Aspa. All right. Uh, pretty crazy morning out there in the crypto market. Number one, right over here, uh, Bitcoin. This thing has uh, just been an absolute, uh, what's it called, a yo-yo. Um, it ended up, all right, uh, last night it broke up out of this pattern and then it went back down through it and then it came back up in it again. Okay, I was... Uh, I was looking in to get into a cast but long when it pulled uh, um, when it pulled up out of here um, then of course right when uh, Caspa was approaching the 618 fib level uh, that's when this started and it just shot it right down through the whole way down to the 786 um, I had an entry at the 618 uh, thank God I kind of rode it out for a while at least I got back to uh, back to positive territory there, but um, uh, thank God it bounced back up there. Boy, boy, was I in the negative for a while. But that's that's what Bitcoin is doing here. It came right up towards that 50, uh, that 702 Fib level here. Let's get a look here. I mean, we're on the 15 minute here. Boy, it came right up there, 53,000 um, bucks. The uh, 702 is at 53,000. Uh, right around 53,050 all right it was you know was that good enough for a hit on the 702 I don't know um, you know one thing we're gonna have to pay attention here with Bitcoin is this could be doing an ABC pattern right here all right if we take go from the high to the low right about there okay we've come up to this 618 um, and so far we're kind of getting rejected off of it so is this another fall down through here all right and if this turns out to be an ABC then you're looking at uh, you know what we've been targeting here for uh, the past few days right down around 50,000 bucks all right if it cannot get above uh, this zone right here you know, if it can't get back up above uh, 52,250, which it hasn't been able to, it's, it's it came up here, just poked through the 618 and got rejected here. So, could be doing an ABC. If we look at the RSIs, let's go in here and take a look. The one hour uh, is turning up. No, it's actually bullish on the one hour. Showing a little bit of weakness there. No, maybe not. I thought it was rolling over a little bit. It is down here in the bottom. You can see on regular RSI here, a little bit of weakness. Uh, the four hour uh, rolling over, it's bearish, 28 and 34. The eight hour, uh, right at the bottom, just uh, just flip bullish. Um, bearish divergence here. Uh, you can see that all the higher high, you can see this high, lower high, lower high. Just lower highs, we're below the moving average on the eight hour. Uh, you've seen this spike up right here. That should have been a higher high there. Uh, the 12 hour, uh, same thing. You know, you got uh, lower highs on the 12 hour. We're, we're below the moving average. And then on the daily, uh, 81 and 86. Bearish, trying to bounce off that moving average here. Um, you know, if this if this does break up above uh, that 53,000 bucks, um, you know, the target for this thing Let's get this off here real quick. You know, a possible target for it would be, let's see here. Well, of course, the width of the wedge, which would put it, you know, right up close to 54,000, I believe that was. Yeah, right up around 54,000 bucks. You know, and if we do get that ABC to the downside, uh, closer down towards that fifty thousand dollar level, and you can see on the daily we have uh, very very good support right here. Look at them closing candles. That would be an interesting area. Um, that ABC would bring us down very very close to that. All right, so Bitcoin kind of an up and down game here, just kind of crazy um, all over this morning. So uh, kind of wiped out a lot of people. I'm sure if we go over here on Coin Glass. I can only imagine. Let's take a look at the liquidations. Yeah, look at that. Uh, 289.4 million, up almost, well, 97% from yesterday. All right, uh, 
figure that. The open interest is still at $50.2 billion. That's down 2%. Uh, 24 hour volume for the crypto market is up 43.3% at 174.3 billion. You have 50.08 long and 49.92% uh, short out there in the market. And still big volume here. Uh, wild is the only thing with negative volume in the top 20. Um, still stacking up on here, you know. I'm expecting this big knockback at some time, guys. We have to be expecting it. I mean, it has to come. Uh, here's the crypto bubbles for the day. Uh, you can see everything, uh, mostly, mostly everything, you know. I don't know, 75% of the tokens in the top 100 are pulling back today. What's this? Starknet, rank number 57, $2. Huh. Never heard of it. Um, that's different. Yeah, never heard of that one. So, something new. Where's Caspa at today? Let's take a look here. I know I ended up, uh, took a Myro trade last night that I posted in Discord. I ended up making 100% on that trade this morning. That was nice to wake up to. Uh, doubled my money on that. I know a few people got in on it. Um, it was a very nice trade over in Discord. I think well, we got a pile of new members over there too. So um, I ended up posting a link uh, in the members section. It's, it never expires. So I don't have to go in there every week and replace the Discord link. I had no idea I could do that, guys. I'm fairly new to Discord. I don't, I've don't. i really never messed with it a whole lot. So uh, forgive me. But the link over there uh, in the members, when you sign up for membership, uh, that link is good forever now. So I won't have to replace it anymore. If you've had any problems getting in, just go into your membership, uh, go into the Discord, and uh, click on the link. It's, it's good forever. I, I replaced them all today, uh, so you're good to go. All right. Um, uh, here we go. Uh, ranked up one notch to 23. $4.1 billion market cap and $111.8 million in volume last 24 hours. Nice. All right. Uh, over here on... Uh, I'm going to take a look here. You know, I don't know if you guys are interested in mining Caspa. A lot of... Uh, you know, I know the last bull run, a lot of people were into mining. But you can come over here to uh, Caspa Block Explorer. And uh, they have all kinds of mining pools you can get in over here. Um all kinds of different ones here. I know you guys are you share you know you share the uh, the proceeds you know uh, the block reward right now is 130.81 caspa and I believe that's per second. Um, so the hash rate uh, 168 uh, market cap 4.1 billion. All right so let's go over here and take a look at the wallets. See if we got any new big things going on there. Look at that. There's a $38,000. A $38, there's a $80,000 buy. Like to see that. $80,000. $38,000. There's another $30,000. Like to see that for sure. Uh, people, that's almost a half million Casper right there. Eighty grand. You think that's worth it? Eighty thousand bucks. You know, for a token that's going to go three to three to five bucks. I I would. Uh, I would definitely pile all over that. Any other major? There's another thirty-eight thousand, uh, eighty thousand, another thirty-eight thousand, another thirty-eight thousand. Look, thirty-seven nine eight seven, thirty-seven nine seventy-six, another eighty thousand. This is seventy-nine one seventy-nine, seventy-nine one eighty-one. They're different orders. Probably just getting them at different times. You know. Um, Hoping to get a little bit better price each time or dollar cost averaging maybe. <laughs> Let's take a look at the, uh, see if we got any major changes in the wallets here. Please hit the like and subscribe guys. I'd appreciate that so very much. Helps out a lot and I really didn't realize how much it does but really does help out. I would appreciate that so very, very much. Let's see here. Let's see if we got any major uh, changes here over the last 24 hours. No, we do. Uh, minus nine sharks, minus two whales. Um, 
Yeah, of course we have 234 whales, and we have 2,783 sharks. You know, it's not. Uh, then you see this. You know, um, the lower end, I guess you'd call it, uh, stacking the last 24 hours minus one dolphin. We have 15,000 of those. So kind of no big deal here. Kind of steady, I guess. Um, let's go over to the charts here. We're on Caspa. Got some interesting stuff here I want to show you guys. All right, number one. We started off with this first move down here, okay? Back, uh, well, roughly a year ago. All right, this first move ended up uh, moving here. All right, if we go from the swing high to the swing low, pull this over here. All right, there you go. We ended up getting a full extension out of this, uh, 14 and a half cents. We actually went up to uh, 15. Um, right here but we did a full Fibonacci extension on this on this move right here okay now if we end up moving over to this area and we take our fib put it on here all right right about right pretty close to there okay our our target here we should hit 19.3 before we have any major uh, major pullback here. Okay, let me get these off here a second so we can see where we're at. All right, we've gotten very, very close there. Um, 18.9. Let me make sure I have these exactly on too because. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's on there. All right, yeah, 19.3. All right, so we could possibly be pushing up a little bit more. Now you can see this thing goes the whole way up to 35 and a half cents. All right, how long did it take us to get uh, this first set done? Well, it ended up taking us, if we have a date range here. Uh, where's my date range? Right here. Okay, from this, this start of this here over to our peak, took uh 231 days all right 231 days to work out a full fibonacci extension on that one all right so i'm not saying this is going to take 231 days to take this whole one out right now we're at 98 days uh 231 would take us way out of here july uh till this july i guess yeah i guess that's possible huh um July, August, September, October, the bull run really starts taking off. Yeah, I could see that. Um, you know, history, I mean, these chart patterns and, and history repeats itself in crypto. No question about it. Okay, so is it possible that this runs till July for us to come up and get to this 35 cent mark? Absolutely. All right, we're we're right now getting to the one six one eight, and we are what 90, 98 days in, you know. If it follows the same path two thirty one, that would put us. Uh, that's July first, okay. That's uh, uh, what do we got here? March, April, May, June, uh, roughly four months, you know, uh, to to reach the peak here. Absolutely, you know, of course, this is a lot more. We're asking a lot more out of this, you know. This isn't, uh, uh, this is not running from, you know, uh, two cents to 15. This is going from uh, 15 to uh, 30, 35. All right, now, a few things we got to look at here as far as price actions go in here. All right, let's leave that right to the side. Now, if we zoom in here, let's go in on an hourly. All right, yeah, right here is that move this morning. Boy, oh boy, expected that to stop right at that 618. Right at the 618. I expected an entry right here, which I got it, but Bitcoin just crushed it right down here to the 786, and then it bounced back up through, and thank God I got back into profit here, and... Uh, and, and I'm still holding this right now as, as we do this video. Now you can see here we got a little bit of resistance we're going to run into here real soon. Okay, so if this breaks this resistance, I would expect uh, that 19 cents to come in. Okay, that would, uh, that would get us to up through here. Uh, that would take out any kind of ABC. 
Um, and I and I feel bad because I put this in Discord, you know, by right here. You know, I, I really and the main reason I thought that is it was doing an ABC. You can see right here. You know, I would never list something unless I was, you know, 100% sure. And you can see right here, Casper did a A, B, up to the 618 there, okay? And the C leg should have brought it right down, right there, okay? And where does that take it to? Well, right here would have been the end of it. That would have been your C leg, okay? Now let's get this off here. All right, believe me, I am constantly digging in these things. Where would that have been? Right on the 618. It would have been a perfect entry. Um, obviously, you know, it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it now. If, if Bitcoin wouldn't have been crashing down at this time, that would have bounced right on the 618. That would have been a perfect A, B, C right there. Okay, that would have been a, that would have uh, been a bottom, and we would have been marching our way up out of here. All right, so I had to hold in the negative down here for a while, but making it back up through here. Now, if we get a break out of here, uh, that's a good sign. I, I would probably bet we're heading up uh, towards that 19 cent area. Now, if we put a fib on here, all right, we're just at the 50 percent mark right now. All right, so this is going to be the area here you really want to pay attention to, guys, that we really want to get through. Right here, the 618 and the 702. Really pay attention to this price area right here, okay? If we get this breakout of resistance, it's probably going to blow right up through there, but you never know, okay? If we want to take out 1832, all right, and if we do, then, then I believe we're heading right up to that 19 cents. And right, um, what's going on here? Why does this say? Why is that on 20 now? Give me a second here to see what the heck. Oh, okay. All right. That's because we were going from right down here. I was wondering what the heck was going on here. All right. I went up to 17 to 19 okay 19 cents yeah that's what that's our next uh, our next target area right up to 19 cents there and we got so close here to 18.9 18.9 you know was that good enough I don't know you know we'll have to see but uh, 18.9 so close there boy oh boy like I said if we get the break of this resistance area right here I believe we'll get that push up there uh, to that 19 to keep a very very close eye on this you want to see us take out 18.3 we break 18.3 we're heading to 19 all right if we get rejected here at this line here uh, then it's probably coming coming down a little bit deeper now as far as the RSI's go the one hour is bullish and heading up the four hour uh, just about reset 14 and a 25 the 8 hour is bearish, 45 and a 71. The 12 hour is bearish, and your daily uh, is stretched out, a 92 and a 95. The one that makes me think we're uh, eventually going higher is that weekly. That weekly looks fantastic. Now, this could end up, um, you know, you could end up having a uh, obviously a bigger pullback here. Um, you know, this could pull back down to the 786 again here. Um, it's it's very hard to tell, but this is exactly where our wave started. That's where we sh we should be taking our fib from, you know, even right down, even right down here, you know, would give us a 702 bounce right there. I honestly think we're going to break through here and and get that 19 cents. You know, I really do. I I think we're going to get that one. Uh, one last push up here before we have any major correction here. Time will tell. Keep an eye on uh, that 18.3. If we break 18.3, keep your eye open for 19. Okay, uh, and then I think uh, I think that's gonna about do it. All right. Uh, for the meantime, you know you're gonna have to give that daily time to correct. Um, it's just gonna have to. It's gonna have to correct down here. All right. Now this this one here goes up to 21.2 let's go back out on the daily here so I can 
Oh, that's what we're dealing with right here. Jeez, I was thinking... I get lost in these charts sometimes. If you zoom in on these things sometimes, right here where we're, is where we're at, 19.3. Jeez, oh man, I apologize, guys. Sometimes I, uh, like I said, you zoom in on these price targets and you lose track where you're at. Zoom out. This is the pattern we're working off of right now. Okay, so 19.3 is that target up here. Um, so we could have just a little bit more of a push up. Keep an eye on that 18.3. If we break it, we're heading up to 19.3. All right. All right. Thank you so very, very much, guys. Please consider signing up for membership. Um, killing it over in Discord there. Got some people placing some great trades over there. Um, I know some people made some big money on Bitcoin today. Uh, that Casper trade was a real bummer. But oh well. It's what it is. Can't win them all. And uh, the Myro trade, we killed it. We killed it on a couple of us did. Uh, did. What happened last night, it ended up wicking back up into support. I hung with it. I just stayed with it. I woke up this morning, and thank God, I was 100% in profit. So sometimes that's the way it goes. You know, you got to watch your uh, stop losses. I got to get a video out for members on stop losses and, uh, you know, trailing stop losses, all that stuff. So I'll be working on that this week. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Have a great night, and I'll talk to you soon.